I was testing out different line weights. It looks like funeral lingerie. <gasps> Have I just thought of something different, new? Oh my god, because there's like wedding night lingerie, like with the white corsets and things like that. Another example of something that could have been so great, but look how big the hands are. I tend to draw women that look a little bit more like me, except I have really small hands, but my wrists, I don't know what it is about my wrists. I am not, baby, I am not underfed, trust me. But my wrists are so, so skinny, so they make my hands look huge. But my hands are like baby doll hands, and that's why I grow my nails out, is because if I don't, they're just these little tiny baby doll hands. And my husband has really thin wrists. I can't shut the fuck up about Mr. Artful for five seconds, so that's why I like to wear long sleeves. Don't look at my baby wrists. Over here and here, these were um, thumbnail sketches, ideas for a collaboration I did with Poogs. Okay, I love this. This is another thing that I'd really want to revisit at some point. And then I was testing out my all-time freaking favorite gold and silver pens, which is the Signo Uniball. And then down here, I, I have this habit of attaching human heads to inanimate objects, and I think that's a big reason why there's like some air of creepiness to some of my work because of the human heads on things. A woman tree, a man reading under a woman tree. Maybe that has some underlying meaning. I don't know. I just draw. You pull the meaning from it. Over here, this did become a painting. I felt it was very, it, it could have been a bit more dimensional. It was this geisha-like character kind of smoking, but there was no cigarette, like her body was smoking and with this garnish, I really love this garnish. I might want to use this for a different piece. And then just a demonic rabbit, as you do. I just gotta get these arms right. Look at the difference. It's just, this is such a huge hand, and this isn't. It's actually even the palm that's too big, and that's Man Bun Man. Over here, um, I was, I the place that I used to live in was kind of a mess, so I was trying to get them to help me clean their kitchen and rearrange stuff, and this is how I wanted it to look. And then over here I did some swatches that had some pretty weird names. Raspberry Squirt, mm-hmm, Petite Rose. I'll show you my Petite Rose. Practicing a skinny male torso and playing with washi tape. Over here are some lyrics, and I don't, they're upside down. I'm not gonna flip them around. I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, this is the song, Not Good For You. I will obviously link that somewhere in here where you can go listen to it. That's actually me. Uh, that was based off a picture of me. I actually have these tattoos on my back. One is not filled in. These are actually called F-holes. You wanna see the F-holes on my backside? And then I, I love this concept of someone having butterflies for hair. I don't know what it is, I just like it. This was just a fun little sketch. I wanted to do a really action-y shot, and again, this actually turned out okay. Her body's, a, her, I think her body's a little short, but I really like this idea. I wish I could revisit it. She's wearing an Anubis mask and has carrying a staff, and I love the flowiness of the chiffon. You cut a bitch with those heels, though. Fuck! Then I tried to draw Amanda Seafried, and I think for the most part it looks like her, but unless you said something, nobody would go, that's Amanda Seafried, so... I could have done better. There are certain defining features about her, like her eyes, that I could have focused on more. I am walking horrible landscapes. I want to try to get better this year. I'm really going to try to focus on anatomy and landscapes this year. Oh, I think I was drunk. Nope, yeah, we're drunk drawing. Okay, usually I will write if I've been drinking and I, the weeniest of weenies in the weenie world. My first dog was a wiener dog because wiener dogs are my jam. And then here's a drawing of Rocket Raccoon, which is actually hanging in our kitchen. It was the first painting I ever gave to, not Mike, it was for his son. I used to draw nothing but dragons basically, and I don't feel like I draw them enough anymore. I'm a draw dragon. Over here, I saw this woman um, in the airport. She's this beautiful Indian woman, and I just, her hair and her skin, and she just was gorgeous. So I tried to kind of draw her, but she wasn't in my presence for very long. This is a ballpoint sketch of Vincent Price. One of the eyes is just a little bit high, but other than that, I am very happy with this. It was just a fast little sketch. Lydia. Kind of a very grown up Lydia with a sandworm. And then here is this design I really like. I think I want to do a much larger piece of this with the skeleton with the flowers intertwined. God, it's been so long since I've done that, but I really do like it. 
It looks quite nice. I love this. I think this is very cute. Doing the, it just has a nice flow to it. And I like her dress and her fishnets and her hairstyle. Very 60s. Um, and then this is funny because this is when Matthew Santoro had that whole drama surrounding him where he wasn't citing his sources or whatever. So it's Matthew Sad Toro. <laughs> he says, I fucked up. It, which is kind of, I feel bad because I didn't realize what had happened where he posted that video where he was crying and talking about his abusive relationship. So I felt really bad after posting this. This is another one of those things where it could totally have this amazing, significant meaning to it, but it really doesn't. That's how you make something have a hidden meaning to it. You just psh, throw a fetus on it. Boom, 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 fetus. This I wanted to make a painting I was gonna put in the hallway of our house, but we have an eight-year-old here running around every now and again. Uh, this is horrible. I tried, and I was mm, drinking here. This is another small thumbnail of a painting that's in our living room right now. And my husband saw this and said, I like this one better. My tattooed corn. And then this kind of has an interesting little explanation. Um, I did a Snapchat story when I first got Snapchat for a Fionn Reagan song. Um, and it kind of like you're supposed to follow it. Like I had my phone up following each little. I don't give advice, but be wise and think twice before getting involved in a game where the minority meets the majority who are faceless and born with a name. And then over here, here was my sketch for the Christina Grimmie painting that I did, which I still absolutely love. I love the style of it and everything. Um, again, hand a little bit too big. Um, but I think I fixed that in the finished product. And then this was done with the Tombow markers again. So incredible, so much fun. And I just thought this was goofy. I don't know why it reminds me of the 90s so much. It just does. I feel like this was something on Nickelodeon. Maybe it wasn't. And then I have a cut out uh, black Prismacolor sketch of Vincent Price. And then over here we have a slutty pony. How do we know it's slutty? We have no idea, but clearly this pony is fucking proud. And then here I am, rock me like a hurricane. Here I am drawing older people, an older man and an older woman. I really like the older woman. I think she just looks so elegant and cute. And then I also have this lady with a cape and some lingerie. She's gonna get fucked in a cape. This was in a video and this is Jonathan Caruso. I'm not really sure who that is. But apparently I have an appointment at June 29th at 420. And then here's my husband from behind. That back profile is born. And then over here were the sketches for the intros for the heart to heart st sketchbook story time and draw vlog. I haven't done a heart to heart in a while. I have changed it to an advice segment. So I haven't even done that yet. So I need to get on that shit. I love this page. Just a page of single line flowers. And I think it's just something so simple and elegant about drawing with a single line. So I did flowers and seeds, and then I quite had to do this, just please. Remember the tiny, giny moment at the beginning of the sketchbook? Well, I straight up drew a vagina flower. Come arrest me, YouTube. And not only that, but those also look like vaginas. But I still love this page. This was a commission. And I did a much larger piece. This is just the kind of concept art for it. And then over here and over here were concepts for a web comic that I wanted to do called Goth Mom, which was basically about me, Mike, and Vince. It's a guy that ends up marrying a goth woman and the guy and the stepson have to deal with having a goth stepmom. My stepson is totally cool with it. He is not bothered a single bit by it. He actually think it's kind of cool that we have a bunch of schools around the house and some creepy stuff, so. Over here was gonna be a page of Scaprickies, but again, I spelled water. And I guess I'm missing a K up there somewhere. And there's a picture of me kissing my dog. My jaw's a little bit too forward. It could have come down and back a little bit, but the profile's about right. Just some colorful accents, nose piercing, eyes, bleeding mouth. And then this was me planning for Broken and designing all the characters. Over here's kind of interesting. I was trying to explain the 101 and then the railway system in California along with the 280 and all the little towns that you pass through as you climb north towards San Francisco. And then some figure drawing. I actually like pretty much every single figure that's on here. She's a little bit 
proportionately different. And here is just some more figure drawing. Here were some Inktober ideas. I ended up using this one and then swapping the teeth little girl out for this one. That became a painting. And that's a cute little sketch of Osa. That was a sketch for our cute little cartoony plaque. Here's some more just sketching. This is all sorts of messed up. La familia es para siempre, which means family is forever. And just a little family of skeletons, which I think is cool. Um, and then here are some index cards that I wanted to sell on my Etsy store, just like five bucks a pop. Cute animals with messed up sayings. I have an enlarged heart because I'm so sweet. And then a piggy cooking pork ribs. Cannibalism. And then a hamster saying to its son, I ate your brothers and sisters. And then a robin red breast. My breast is red because I'm filled with rage. And then the tortoise and the hare. Fuck you, I win the race. Because that's all you had to do was tip the damn tortoise over. I mean, that's not fair. It's you know, foul play, but shit. This was in my how to draw with ballpoint pen. And actually there was a huge gap between this, this last page and this. I'm actually really, really happy with the way this came out. Um, it's obviously not like a finished, finished piece, but a very polished sketch. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. Over here are how I did the initials for the plaques that I made for Christmas. I do have a video about that as well. All my videos obviously will be linked down below and with annotations. And then now we're getting into stuff that's pretty recent. I did these, my husband wanted me to head up to the bowling alley with him, he bowls in a league. So I went up with him and I just sat and sketched out these characters. They almost look like they could be in like a gem in the holograms-esque kind of video or, or, or be like a crime fighting team. And I, I just, I really like the way this turned out. I like the way this turned out as well. My hands are definitely more proportional to everything, the face and everything. The head could be definitely taller. And I think the one eye is a little bit off and the face, you know, the, the features could be brought in a little bit more. And then here is from my family portrait that I did. I was having a hard time with Mike and myself. And then all of a sudden after this entire sketchbook, bam, I nailed it. That looks so much like me. It's not even funny. Mike said I didn't need the wrinkles underneath my eyes, but... And then right after that, I freaking nailed Mike. Look at that. That is my freaking husband right there. I was so proud of this. Ugh, it looks just like him. And then over here, just sketching. I actually really love this little sketch I did. It was just with one of the Spica glitter pens. And I just think it's boom. It's like, I, I want to make that a character. She is so cute. And here's the last pages. When will I ever learn? And you know what's funny? It looked not horrible before I lined it. I made a mistake here, went out really far. You can see that where the line was supposed to be, but I don't think it would have saved it even if I lined it correctly. And then some titties and a booty. You can't, you gotta end it like that. And then the end, what? And these last few pages are actually just a storyboard or whatever or broken. So that was my 2016, I said yearbook, this is my 2016 sketchbook. And for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the way it was composed. I think there's a lot of work to be done on certain things because I am trying to branch out and do more. So that's just what 2017 is for, is for working on those things. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I tried to be a little bit more high energy. I had some soda before I did this, but I've just, man, Mike had to get up early and drive to Des Moines to take a class. And I just got up with him and I shouldn't have. So I'm ready to take a nap. So I'm gonna go do that now and then put this all together for you guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later.